Jana Jagruti Samiti at ORG reports valuable land worth crores of rupees belonging to various deities of Kenjhar district have gone into the hands of encroachers and land mafia. The endowment department under the state law department is the custodian of the land. The authorities seem not to be concerned about protection of the land for which eviction of such encroachments is very slow. More than 20,000 acres of such land belonging to different temples and religious muts are under encroachment by people across Kenjar. But instances of eviction or stringent action are rare. Amendments have been attempted to the Odisha Hindu Religious Endowment Act to further centralize power within the government. This will require final and binding government approval in temple matters. There are around 22,000 temples and muts in the state of Odisha and lakhs of acres of land belonging to the temple deities. Much of temple wealth has already been looted through the OHRE Act. This has left temples unable to administer or even to operate themselves. Once misappropriated, it can be very difficult to regain lost temple lands. For instance, Sri Baladev Ju Temple had about 22,000 acres of land, but most of the land is encroached or not in present possession of the temple. More than 200 encroachment cases have been booked in Kenjar town alone, but not even a fraction of cases have been recovered. OpIndia.org reports on how the anti-Hindu narrative has become institutionalized in many ways. Swami Ramdev has expressed disappointment over no Hindu saint being conferred with Bharat Ratna in the last 70 years, despite their immense contribution to the country. Ramdev appreciated the government for honoring former President Pranak Mukherjee, Bhupen Hazarika, and Nanaji Deshmukh, but he criticized the government for not considering any Hindu saint for this award. Ramdev said that contribution of saints like Mahirishi Dayananda Saraswati, Swami Vivekananda, and Guru Maha Sanidhanam Shivakumara Swami, the head of Siddhaganga Mutt who recently passed away, was never considered by the government as worthy of recognition. He continued that even Mother Teresa was given the Bharat Ratna because she was a Christian. But the contribution of Hindu saints has been neglected by the government because they were Hindus. Ramdev questioned, is being Hindu a crime in this country? He urged the government to consider Hindu saints who have made great contributions to the society for the Bharat Ratna. If you feel responsibility is a power, you make your life successful.